A candlelight vigil is being held right now at Rocky Point for two boys who drowned at Fort Gibson Lake over the weekend, just teenagers. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Sarah Whaley. And I'm Rick Marinon. She has the night off. It's been a sad story that's been developing over the past couple of days. Let's get to Fox 23's Alexa Mostrom live in Fort Gibson with the details on what happened and how the community is affected by all of this. Yes, the candlelight vigil started at 6 and it's open to family, friends, and really anyone who wants to go and give their condolences. Now, understandably, they asked the media not to be there, but I know that a lot of people from the community in Wagner will be in attendance. Saturday, June 10th, the Oklahoma Highway Patrol recovered two bodies from Fort Gibson Lake. That Friday night, the boys had been jumping off cliffs with two other friends. Uh, we soon realized that it was probably not going to be a, a rescue. It was going to be more of a recovery uh, because the time we got out there, uh, the victims had been underneath water for a good, good 20 minutes. Wagner County Sheriff Chris Elliott explains they sent deputies out when the call came in. He says the swimmers got caught up in a storm while jumping off the cliffs. Elliot says the other two boys made it out, but Damien and Caleb Maton did not. High gusty winds, uh, high white caps, and it was actually throwing the swimmers uh, up against the rocks there. Elliot says the swimmers were not in a designated swim area, and it made it more difficult for the boys to get to safety. We encourage everybody, uh, if you're going to come out to Lake Fort Gibson, stay in the designated swim areas. Elliot says these deaths have made an impact on the community of Wagner. You know, uh, right now this community's you know trying to recover from this tragedy. Anytime we lose uh, uh, people like this on on, on a tragic accident, uh, there's a lot of healing that has to take place. Like I said, the vigil started at 6, and people are really hoping that this will help bring healing to the family. Now, there is a GoFundMe set up, and you can find more information on that by going to fox23.com. Live covering news that matters, I'm Alexa Mostrom, Fox 23 News.